In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple garden egg sauce that's paired with some sweet potatoes or any other side dish of your choice. The full ingredient list will be in the description box down below, so be sure to check it out there, okay? Now start by cutting up the garden eggs and bell peppers to make them easier to chop in the food processor. Then place the cut up garden eggs and bell peppers in a food processor and then roughly chop it. I also added some onions to this as well. Now this is the exact consistency that you want your garden eggs to have. It's not um, smoothly chopped, it's like very roughly chopped, okay? Alternatively, what you can do is if you don't have a food processor, you can just boil up your garden eggs and your bell peppers and then mesh it up with a mortar and a pestle and then you all you can actually just Put it in a blender but i really do not like the consistency of that and that's why i advise that you use a food processor next move over to the stove top and then add the bleached palm oil and allow to heat up slightly Then add the chopped onions and stir fry for about 30 seconds. Afterwards, you add the green chili sauce and the garlic paste, and then you continue to stir fry for another 10 seconds. Then the chopped fresh tomatoes, um, some seasoning cube powder, crayfish powder, and some salt to taste go in next. This is all the seasonings that I'll be using for this um, sauce. Mix everything to combine. Cover the pot and leave to fry for about four to five minutes. Then afterwards, add the ejakika fish. Now, this is just dry smoked fish that's also known as panla fish in this part of the world. But at this point, you can really use any protein of your choice. Even chicken would work very well. Um, I'm using ejakika fish today. Mix again, then cover and leave it to continue to cook for another five minutes. This would help intensify the flavor of the sauce. Afterwards, add the chopped garden eggs and mix again to combine. I also added a little bit of palm oil to give it some color, um, but you do not necessarily have to add the palm oil if you don't want, but um, I highly recommend it because it's going to help uh, make the garden egg sauce look a lot better and then i also added some crayfish powder because i think you needed more crayfish and then i also added some water to loosen it up mix it up one last time then cover and leave to cook for a final three to four minutes And that's it guys the sauce is ready now this is what i'm going to be having on wednesday and thursday for lunch and i'm going to be serving it with some sweet potatoes but you can use boiled yams uh, you can use rice if you want you can just be very adventurous trust me guys this sauce is amazing and you definitely love it so i think my job here is done guys if you love this video please don't forget to share with your family and friends and also click the like button subscribe to the channel if you have not and I'll see you next time with another quick fix video. Until then, it's me, the queen of fun and fans cooking, signing out right now. Take care, guys.